Good morning, Joanne here. Uh, this is take two since the dogs started barking during my first my first attempt at a video. They're growling right now, so because they know I'm talking about them. <laughs> we have a special relationship. In any case, they may pop in and out of the picture, but as long as they're quiet, I can keep talking. So. What I wanted to do today is, I haven't been on for a while because I've been working really hard on a f two different books actually, and one of them is my memoir, which I finally finished the rough draft and I'm working on the editing now, which that's going to take me quite a while because, as you know, editing is a long process to get it right, as right as it can be. Um, this memoir is about... A certain point, basically my childhood, so it's kind of a coming of age thing, and it and it and it's about um, poverty, and uh, the main themes are poverty and uh, sex, childhood sexual abuse. Now, the reason that I'm putting this up is because it would be very easy for me to just quit right now. Um, I put up a post on social media, Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, in some writing groups, just uh, showing the introduction to my book, uh, trying to generate some interest in it. Um, now, I would expect that at least the people in my own Facebook world, my own friends, would support me um, by at least, you know, clicking like or making a little comment, whatever, at least clicking like, and, and if you want to be really helpful, sharing it. Um, it's for an upcoming memoir, as I say, so it's not ready yet, it's just the intro. I'll read you what I put up there and then we can discuss it. Okay, so, I could not write this story until now, as a child, because someone might find out the truth, and I could not speak of it. And after that, to protect my mother and other family members who found the entire situation to be a great embarrassment. Part of me feels like a traitor for telling my story, as if I'm being disloyal to Ma. But anyone who reads this will know that I love her with all my heart. When asking myself if I should write this memoir, I wondered if I had a voice, a voice that people would want to listen to and a story they would want to hear. I realized that as I grew from that scrawny little blonde toothpick into the woman I am today, I have always let my writing be my voice, sometimes inflected with bits of sarcasm, anger, comedy, and storytelling techniques that I invented myself, basically. Uh, I was the only one who ever heard it. I have allowed my pen to end my silent scream and to finally let my voice be heard. Where do I begin? A story of love and hate, poverty, wealth, lies, abuse and instability. When I think about the whole thing, it all seems like too much for one child to bear in one lifetime. Too much for anyone to believe, but it's all true. Sometimes, when I'm alone, I ask myself if any of it really happened. It seems so surreal, like it happened to someone else and I was just a viewer. Maybe that's how memories are for everyone, yet others have borne much worse. And when I think about them, I realize how lucky I am to be alive. Someone was watching over me. I couldn't have made it any other way. I have also met human angels, people which God puts on our path in life. These human angels have helped me to realize that there is good in the world as well as evil. To these human angels, I am eternally grateful. This is my story. Okay, so I put that up, as I said, to generate some interest, uh, you know, get some maybe feedback on the uh, intro itself. In the writers groups, at least that was the purpose. Um, and I hardly got any response whatsoever. Now, I don't think the writing is that terrible. Even though it's my first draft, I don't think the writing is that terrible. It's not the greatest thing in life, but it's not that terrible. So I have to assume that perhaps people are shying away from it because it's the subject matter. Uh, first of all, I was told in one of the writers groups that Unless my life was extraordinary in some way, why would anyone want to read my story? I've been told this by editors, publishers, um, agents, um, who you know have who I've discussed my book with, and uh, 
The only thing I could say why what makes it extraordinary is that it's not extraordinary. It's one. It's one story. And it's a story that is unique to me. Other people have stories that are unique to them. They didn't experience the exact same thing I experienced and vice versa. I didn't experience their lives either. But that wasn't the point of the book uh, to make myself shine or anything. The point of the book is to draw attention to the issue of childhood sexual abuse and uh, pedophilia, which is... I think people really don't realize how prevalent it is in society. And that's because no one talks about it. And because no one talks about it, um, children who are affected don't want to talk about it. Um, it makes everyone uncomfortable. But the children need protecting. And unless we feel as children, like when I was a child, I, I would never have felt comfortable to talk about that. Um, you know, I was always told to stay away from strangers. Well, it was someone in my own home, you know. Um, and a lot of kids don't know this because, of course, you, you know, you don't want to put things in their heads either. But I think it's good for parents and society in general to just be aware of how these things happen. And, uh, you know, who it happens to and in what situations it happens and the role that poverty often plays in situations such as this. Um, but my point on to writers, because I'm speaking to you right now, okay, uh, my point is I don't think that if someone tells you what they've told me that you should let that deter you because I could just quit right now and just say, well, nobody wants to hear it. What makes my story so special? Thousands of people have been abused and molested. Um, well, you know, I have to watch my brother suffer every day because he was molested too and he's a drug addict now and every time I read something in the paper about someone who died or every time I see a news report um, that there was some settling of accounts I have to wonder if it's him and um, as as much as this abuse has affected me because make no mistake about it there are permanent effects whether we deal with them the best we can or not uh, or in an effective enough way there are permanent effects even for you know people who like myself are managing um, but there are people who are really having a rough time of this um, and this book is for them I think um, and so I have a purpose in writing it, um, to, to create an awareness, to let others know they're not alone, to let others know they're not crazy, because, and that you shouldn't be ashamed because it happened to you, because there's nothing to be ashamed of, you did nothing wrong. Um, I think that, you know, I don't want this... My whole life as a writer is not just about this, but this particular project is about drawing attention to, you know, CSA, childhood sexual abuse, and the crime of pedophilia, you know? So, for me, it's an important project, and I don't think you should let people deter you if you have something that's important to you to put out there as a writer. Um, if, if you believe in your project, and you believe that there's you know, people that are going to read it, then go for it. Um, myself, I think that people who, for instance, I'm attracted to reading these type of books. Why? Because it makes me feel not like a freak. I'm not a freak of nature when I read about someone else who had a similar experience. Um, and so perhaps my story will help others as well in that way. You feel like a, kind of you have a kindred spirit with these other people. So, anyway, that's the purpose in my writing the book, and, and I was just trying to make the point that I don't think you should let people deter you just because it's not what's in their best interest monetarily, because as we know, the whole world is about the money, right? But for me, it's not. It never was. And, um, yeah, if it's important to you, write it.
that's that's my message today if it's important to you write it it'll be important to somebody else and even if my project makes one or two people feel better about their own lives then it will have been worth it for me so until next time with further progress i'll let you know how it's going bye bye